Here I have a K24A2 engine. And here what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you guys how I will do a compression test with the motor not being in the car. So this motor was pulled and it still has the starter installed. And um, the tools I will need is I'm gonna use this jumper box or a car battery would, would work a 12 volt car battery. Next tool I'm gonna to use is this compression gauge tester. And, and I have this tool here. It's called a starter remote switch. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow me to start the engine just by pressing this button. And the next thing I'm gonna do here is um, I'm gonna open the throttle body, but since this is an electronic throttle body, I'm gonna use this tool to um, pry it open. So I'm just gonna use my finger here and I'm gonna open the throttle body with my hands or with my hand. And this tool is gonna to keep that open for me and one more thing I want to make sure is I do have oil in the engine and that's just to be on the safe side. So next thing we're going to do here is I'm going to remove this coil first. Um, you can go whichever way you want, but I always start for me. I'll start here. So I'm going to go, go ahead and remove the coil and the spark plug. Okay. Once that is removed, I'm gonna to go to my compression gauge tester with the hose, and I am gonna thread this in by hand. And I want it a little snug. It doesn't have to be very tight. So that's pretty snug. And then go ahead, and I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the gauge kind of hard to do with one hand but you just slide this back this pops in and the gauge is in this engine being pulled um, I know these wires that are connected um, these two do go to the starter so this thick white one goes to the starter and you can trace it and it will go in there on the starter and then here is the remote the starter switch cable which is the black and white stripe wire and you can follow it down here and you can probably slide the sleeve over here and make sure it is the correct cable so next thing I'm gonna do here with this jumper box I'm gonna take the positive I'm gonna connect it to the white thick wire The ground, I'm gonna connect it to the starter. Make sure you get a good contact on it. And with the starter remote switch, um, what's nice about this one is it has an LED that will let you know that, you, that there's power. So I'm gonna take one of the alligator clips and I'm gonna connect it to the um, starter switch signal switch cable and then on the other end of the alligator clip I'm gonna connect it to the positive terminal here And as you can see, the LED is lit. So, with that being connected, now I can crank the engine and check the compression for the first cylinder that we're gonna test. Okay, first cylinder.
Okay, after the first cylinder, put the plugs back, put the coil back if you want to, but just make sure the plug is back in. And now the second cylinder. Compression on cylinder. The second cylinder is not good. It's very low. It's a little bit past 31. Okay, to release the pressure. Third cylinder. Okay, repeated steps. First, second, third. Now we're on the fourth cylinder. Fourth cylinder. So in conclusion, if you're doing this test yourself, you are doing this at your own risk. If you don't know what you're doing, you should get a professional mechanic to do this test for you. I know there is another way to do a compression test with the motor being out of the car, and it's called a leak down compression test, which uses an air compressor and a leak down gauge tester. I use this test for me if I'm buying a motor and I want to make sure the compression is good. But with this motor in this video, the engine is bad. Compression is very low. I want at least compression that is to specification for this particular motor and at least 10% within range of all four cylinders. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button and share this video. Thank you for watching.